What's going on guys? Welcome back to part 3 of the Crew 2. This game has been super fun just learning how to play it and getting to see what this Ford Mustang is able to do. In our last video we uh, went and we did a couple races. One we won by like an inch which was awesome just at the end. The other one we came in second no big deal. We still actually ended up getting some rewards for that. So look at this TV too that has a trailer on it. That's amazing. That's awesome. You may have seen that in episode one, but today what I want to do, we're going to jump into maybe some boating and some flying, but I did want to take a look at some customizations for the Mustang. Now that we have a little bit of money, we can actually do a little bit of different things. So uh, we'll go ahead and see what we can do to this beast. Now the color on it, I like the dark blue, but what I actually really want and um, one of the cars I've seen, it was a Shelby GT350 and it was like a baby blue, like it was very similar to this color right here and it was absolutely stunning. Um, there was one just like this and there was another one in town with white stripes, same color. I think I like the solid blue better, but uh, for now, yeah, we'll definitely get that. We'll see what else we can do as well. So the color is just on the body of the car. Um, you can put some decals on it if you want. I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it plain. Visual parts. Um, so we can. Okay, so we can customize like all the individual body parts on the car. So we'll see what we can do. Nice carbon fiber hood. I wouldn't put a carbon fiber hood on. Oh my goodness! Look at that. You can trick your cars out, make them look amazing. This is kind of like a demon um, hood. Alright, I like this one. I think that adds some... That looks good. That's four grand for that, eh? Oh yeah, we definitely have to add some things to this. Make it look good. Now, are all these parts available to me? I'm not sure. But... We'll see what else they get. What looks better? Does the two black ones, are those lights? Those aren't even lights. They're just slots for lights. And then the, that's the one with the lights added in. Um, I think that's, that's over the top. That's too much. All right. So it's going to be one of these ones. I like keeping it black, but it also looks sick. I'm going with this one. Okay. The car is already a different car. It looks so much better now. Is this also changing the back rooms? Yeah. I really like those rooms, but maybe not for a Mustang. Do they have like muscle car rims? Looking for like the five spoke old Mustang rims, which they probably don't have. This is like the Shelby rims, I believe. So go ahead and do that. Is there a way to change the size? No. I am definitely going to make them black rims. I think that looks sweet. Yep. We can change the size and we'll make them big. Put them up to, what are those, like 20s? Probably more than 20s. We'll put them halfway for the front and then halfway for the back as well. That's only 1500 bucks, which is great. Caliper color, I think I'm going to do the baby blue. Or should I do yellow? I think we're going to go with... That looks mean as fuck. That looks nice. I like the red. I think putting blue on the calipers, um, it just, it's too much blue. So we are going to go red. I really like that. That looks really good. So we change those colors, the side mirrors. I think if we make them carbon, that would be okay. The side skirts, we can add a carbon skirt on it or 
we can leave it just a matte black finish. I think we'll add the carbon. Oh, I didn't add it. Rear wing, definitely need to get something else on there. I love wings on cars. Not that big on a Mustang, but just something. That w looks great. And if I can change it to carbon, that would be perfect, which I don't think I can. Rear bumper, let's see what we can do here. There's 18 different choices for the rear bumper, so this can be interesting. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so that's probably one of my favorites right there. I think I like the other one better. It makes it more, more beefy. So what's the difference between this one and this one? Absolutely nothing. Basically the same thing. We'll do this one just in case. Okay, um, and then interior color. You can go all the way to changing the interior color. What? I'm gonna keep it as standard black. That's incredible that you can do that. I don't think there's another game that I've played that I've been able to do that. So that's cool. We'll keep it black. So that's a lot. Look at that car. That's a completely different car now. Performance, I don't know really how this all works yet. Um, what I want to do is I want to add some tires to it. Okay, so I guess that's the level of your car is 132. I, I don't know. I'm going to learn more about this in the future. Um, what else can we go? We'll upgrade the brakes. No, nope. we have a lot of gear. The gearboxes unlocked. I think we can use any single one of these. I'm not sure if you have to buy them or not. For example, if you don't have to buy them, then we'll just install everything that we can. Give it a nice little upgrade. Yeah, you don't have to buy them. I guess once you unlock them, then you have them available to your car. So that's awesome. All right, let's go see what this car can do. Uh, that's all we can do right now to the car. It looks absolutely mean. I'm excited to, to drive this. I should have did my driver gear too, but oh my goodness, look at that. So I just, I don't know how that, okay. So that's the first time I've been able to see this menu where you can switch between a car, a plane, and a boat. Unfortunately, I don't have a car or a boat or a plane yet. That's incredible. I love that sound. I'm surprised there's no brand new Shelby in the game. And they just give you a 5 liter Mustang. Alright. So we did a little bit of driving around there. I really like that car. That's sweet. I'm glad I picked it and uh, customized it. So what we will end up doing, we'll do one race if we can. We'll go up to New York, which I believe I already did this race. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. I did a couple different things off camera as well, just to kind of, it was all very repetitive. So we're going to actually go here and we're going to race with this car. See how much better it is now that I've updated it. Piss and cones while we're at it. What I do have to do quickly is lower the sound. Because it is super loud. There we go. Alright, so we are at the starting grid and we're getting ready to 
rock these cars out. Now these are all classic cars, so I don't really <laughs> fit in here, but it's not a big deal. They're still whooping my ass. Alright, let's go. There's an old Shelby for you right in front of us, Janice. Alright, we got this. We'll try not to ride the wall. That's another thing in this game, riding the wall is super easy. You go around, you hardly lose speed. So if there's online races that you can do against other people, hopefully that's not a thing. Alright, so I'm in top three. I, I believe all we have to do is come in the top three. I'm obviously going to try and win. Oh, we're riding the wall. Little bit. Little wall action there. What kind of car is that? Lamborghini? Yeah. Don't hit nothing. Slow down for the wall. Hit it again. That's the thing, I slow down too, too much in the corners, and then everyone else passes me, but we did end up coming in first. Very nice. So first race with the new Mustang, and we won. So I'm pretty happy and content with it. We're gaining quite a bit of followers here. We're up to 15,000 followers. Got more followers in this than we do on YouTube. We've been doing YouTube for a year. <laughs> All right, so grab my loot. And then what I wanna do, cause we're in New York, so there's a lot of things to do in New York. We'll quickly do this little side challenge here. It's an escape, so I have to travel a certain distance away from something. Let's just book it. Let's get out of there. Sounds like it's close. I completed it, but we're gonna go all out and see how far away we can get. Oh, it's close! Oh, it got us! But we did 1,800 yards away from it, and I think the objective was like 700 so that's pretty good get some more loot all right let's take a quick look at the map we'll pull over to the side here actually there's a reward pretty close if you can see the radar it's beeping and if you guys <laughs> saw the last video at the end I found a reward but I had no clue what to do once I found it, and all you had to do was literally push X or hold X on it. So I got a feeling it's somewhere over. Not over there. Okay, I think I passed it. Okay, we're getting closer. Getting very close. It's gonna be here on my left.
I don't really like this system. It's kind of annoying. Alright, let's back up. Saying we're close. We're getting really close. Is it in front of us? I'll give it another minute. To find it, if we don't find it, I'm taking off. Unless it's like underneath us. Oh, there it is. Alright, so at the bottom, if you guys are not aware of what you have to do, it says hold X to open the live reward. I didn't see that at the very first one that I went to, so. It took me like <laughs> five minutes of trying to do different things to get that reward but all right so we got that one let's take a look in the map see what we can get up to in new york not a whole lot with the boats and the planes i think this one will just be a boat um race so we'll go there we'll see what what's up listen up people i'm looking for a driver if you can handle yourself on the water and in the air, behind the wheel, obviously, though we'll come to that later. Then maybe you've got what my team needs. Beat the posted time for the trial, and there'll be a spot for you. Fail, and well, I'm sure someone else will grab the opportunity. Alexis Kendrick Racing deals strictly with winners. And I'm Alexis, so I would know. Alright, so we get to race some boats. I don't think this is going to be super exciting, racing the boats. That's not something I'm looking forward to in this game, but it's a nice little change up. I think I'd rather race the planes over the boats. But I don't know. This just seems like it's going to be like very repetitive, very like straight, like there's nothing to really look out for in the water. Just go through a bunch of checkpoints and that's about it. And hold down the, the accelerator. However, if they make you do stunts and things like that, like jumps and which I think they will. That could be a lot of fun. We'll see what sort of courses they have lined up for us. Go someplace we can talk about what happens next. Hopefully I get a... Oh. That would have been a big wreck. Hopefully I get a free boat out of this. Looking forward to having you on the team. There's still some things you need to work on, but that's okay. I'll oh, teach you what you need to know. I want that race car. It'll be hard work, but you'll see the results on the track, or the waves, or in the air. So, this is the pit. It's where the pro racing community preps. Now you can hang out here too. You belong. That's Clarence Bishop, the third. He's the reigning champ around here. 
Racing royalty, really. His father and grandfather were both champions, too. Which helps explain his attitude. I'll take that Vulcan, too. won't be happy with you. Clarence is old school. Doesn't think anything needs to change. A lot of drivers see things differently. Me, I think there needs to be some balance. You'll decide for yourself, I guess. Just in case you're wondering, there's a power boat with your name on it waiting for you in the shop. Don't thank me. You've earned it. And you're gonna need it. The rest of these, you can buy later. <laughs> Not that one, little grasshopper. Not yet. You need to find the winner's circle a few times first. What would be amazing is if we get a big warehouse, like not where we're living, but another warehouse, kind of like a hangar where you can store your boats and your planes and you can do the same thing, walk around in it. That'd be incredible. I wonder if that's what they're going to do. So get your power boat vehicle. So this is my boat right here. Alexandra. Can I take the car? Check her out. No, so you gotta buy it. They got a lot of sweet cars in this game, eh? Oh my, look at that. Alright, we'll look at the cars another time. I didn't mean to change it, but whatever. Okay, um, that F1 car is pretty cool. F1 would be like a dream of mine to race in. I don't think it will ever happen. I know it will never happen. I don't think I'd go to that level, but um, I'd settle for like GT3 racing, you know? All right, so let's take our boat. So is that the only free one we get? Yeah. So we will black it out. I wonder what sort of customizations you can do to a boat. That's going to be interesting. If they put in a lot, that'd be really interesting. In case you hadn't noticed, now we can edit videos through the live app. Just open the map, search through it, and you'll find the tools you need. I'll be posting those babies gets us tons of new followers. Alright, so next we'll probably end up doing a plane race in the next episode. And then do some off-roading. Off-roading might consist of maybe some dirt bikes or just off-roading vehicles. But yeah, guys, this is where I'm going to end it. Um, thank you guys so much for coming back and watching episode 3 of The Crew 2. I'm having a lot of fun, as I've said before, playing this game. And now I get a boat to kind of look forward to uh, playing. So, yeah, that's going to be sweet. So you can fast swap between two vehicles of any type. Half the boat's black, that's awesome. I thought I was just making when I made it black, just the bottom black, but I made half the boat black, so. And there's other boats that are riding around. Oh, that's sweet. Look at that. All right, guys, yeah, I'm out. Um, I'll catch you guys later. The, stay tuned for episode four. It's gonna be coming out very soon. I'm gonna continue here and play and record, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.